I found it very difficult getting into prayer today. There were numerous things that caught my attention around the house. The phone ringing, people at the door. It was almost impossible to get into deep prayer. But finally, I managed to pull away from everything and redirect my energy and my attention away from all those exterior things and spend that special quality time for him. I knew he was waiting for me. The Lord began, My precious, always put me first. Do not allow the demons to shift your attention off of me. This is a priceless gift that we share together. It took a long time to cultivate. It can be ruined very quickly. It is the little foxes that ruin the vine. This is an age-old strategy of Satan's. Little by little, line upon line, draw her, the bride's attention, off. Just a little bit each day. Eventually, she's way off and the gift is gone. No crime scene. Just an absence of what used to be a sweet communion and relationship. One that nourished and built up the bride into a fountain of living waters. The Lord continued, There are so many I long to rest in the arms of, but alas, they are taken up with the world and have no taste for my companionship. Faithfulness draws the faithful. I will put a longing in hearts for something different, something radically different from the lives they are leading, just as I did for you. First, they must grow weary of all that is around them. There must come a point where it all means nothing to them. When they are at this point, then I can lead them and guide them into that relationship. But mark these words. They must be at the point of weariness with the world and all its allurements. But Lord, now you have brought me back to a rather normal life different from my more radical days in the East. True, I have, but only because you need what is necessary to serve others. But I wanted you to experience almost complete freedom, that simplicity, so that it would become the very foundation of your life and ministry. Missionary is a very good title for the work I've given you. When you are a missionary, you do not possess great things. Rather, you travel lightly, even as Joseph and Mary did, carrying their precious bundle. And that's the end of this very short message, but an important message for sure.